Hey there everyone, we are at the end of day two. This is Susie Kim with OGN Global. With me, I've got Lemon Nation of Cloud9. Hello Lemon, how are you today? I'm good, thank you for having me. I am very glad that you, I, that you even agreed to do this interview because I know most of the teams usually like to leave after their losses, but I know you're cool, so. Yeah, yeah. I don't get too sad after losses. I'm pretty good about okay. that. <laughs> All right, so um, just recapping real quick, you guys, game one, really strong start. Uh, after you won that game and it was 1-0, what were your initial thoughts? Well, we were able to get an early catch at level one and just snowball really hard off that. Mm -hmm. We kind of just, they had a weaker bot lane than us and we were able to just completely destroy and snowball around there. Right. So we were feeling good about that, but we knew it was still going to be extremely difficult. Like we kind of expected them to be the better team, I think, coming into it. All right, so then, uh, like you said, you knew it was going to be really difficult, but yesterday TSM took a game off of white, you guys took a game off of blue, and you're basically showing everyone out there that Koreans are beatable. Yeah. Um, gods can bleed. <laughs> gods can bleed. Can um, the, the gap between the Western League of Legends skill set? I don't know, is that the right word I'm looking for? Yeah, that's uh, fine. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, the gap between the Western and the Korean gameplay and the meta, uh, do you actually think that it is starting to get smaller? I would say compared to last year Worlds where SKT was actually unbeatable, mm -hmm. there is no way any Western team was basically going to do anything to them. I would say the gap does seem to be smaller than it was last year. Okay. I don't know if that will continue or not, but it does seem to be at least a, a good sign. Okay. All right, so then um, game one happened. Like you said, it was really difficult. Overall, what do you think happened? What do you think you guys could have done better to take some of these games? Um, I think game one we were able to catch them off guard and kind of get a game off of them from that. Mm -hmm. But I think the other three games overall, they kind of had a better overall strategy and better ability to actually go through their strategy and just beat us. So I, I would say they were just the better team at this tournament. Okay. Um, you know, you said they were able to kind of build around you guys. Um, I want to ask about High because there's a lot of talk about High not having a big enough champion pool. And I know that you guys have scrimmed Samsung Blue a lot before. So obviously Blue kind of knows what champions you guys are all good at. Do you think this may have hindered um, your chances of winning today? Um, well, I, I think the main thing is we were trying out Talon, which hasn't looked that good in competitive play. But it allows us to pick Quirky, which gives us a very big advantage bot lane. Mm -hmm. And in scrims, it has looked quite good. It just hasn't looked quite as good actual on, in actual games. Mm -hmm. I think it, it's possible if we had Jace as a pick, it would have been... We could have made better situations happen right. by making Jace and Koki together. But at this tournament, we did not have that. So I think that'd be the only one that I would really want that we were missing. And that kind of came... Only the Koreans are playing that right now, and it kind of came just like out of nowhere. They just kind of yeah. showed that it was really strong <laughs> just at this tournament. <laughs> I guess that was like their hidden card, basically, yeah. and they and just... They, they did really well with it, and they kind of got an advantage out of that, having that pick. Okay. Overall today, are you personally happy with the way that you've played? Yeah. I mean, we did pretty well bot lane. We got some lane kills. Yeah. <laughs> that, that just makes you happy. You, get, yeah, I you mean, just get lane kills, and we did good. Oh, well, glad. I'm, I'm, I mean, you seem to be in good spirits. You guys were doing the, the team fan meet and everything earlier, and everyone's all happy and taking pictures and stuff. Um, the team's not terribly disappointed that you weren't be able to make it to Seoul? No. I mean, I think we're very happy we made it this far. I think it's okay that we lose here. We knew we were against possibly the, the first or second best team in the world based on the results in yeah. OGN. So... <laughs> We didn't have the highest expectations for today, but we were coming in trying to win and trying to hopefully pull up an upset. But if we don't, it's not too bad. Okay, okay. Um, I have to ask you about that final push in game four with the Nexus, where I'm sure if even all of you guys just hit it once, it would have broken. Uh, what exactly, uh, like I want to know, what were the comms like? Like if I could listen to the comms at that moment, what, was it, what would it sound like? 
ignore Nami, ignore Nami. <laughs> We, we, can, we can maybe win here, let's go for it. It's basically that. It was, do we want Baron or do we want to actually try for the end? And I, I think go, actually going for the end there was a good decision, even though it didn't work out. Because I think if we got Baron, we wouldn't have actually be able to pull the win with having Baron. It wouldn't have gotten us enough of a benefit. Mm -hmm. Whereas going for the win, if it just went like a little bit differently, maybe if we all didn't get tr like triple bubbled. Right we could have actually gotten the win, so it was really close. Well, just letting you know that all the Korean fans were actually really cheering for you guys for C9, and they really wanted that game five, because I, I think the Korean fans really do appreciate how amazingly you guys have been performing here. So um, looking forward then, uh, are you planning on staying in Korea then? Yeah, I'm staying until finals in Korea. I am gonna explore Seoul, hopefully. <laughs> have some fun, it's a break <laughs> time for us. Yeah, Jack's finally letting you guys yeah. off the hook and you can do what you want now. Yeah, we're on break until the end of the month, so. All right, that sounds good. Tomorrow, then we have EDG versus Royal Club. Who do you think is going to win? Based on how, s we've, we screamed them both a decent amount. Mm -hmm. Well, we screamed EDG a decent amount. But look at, looking at how they've looked in the tournament mm -hmm. and how they have done versus us in scrims, I would say that Royal Club seems to be the stronger team. Okay. Especially... Uzi looks pretty amazing, honestly. Like, he looks extremely dominant. Right. And, and Imp has been saying how Uzi is probably the best ADC in the world. Uh, do you think it's because they have Koreans on their team? <laughs> <laughs> I had to ask. Well, Uzi's not Korean, no, he's and he's not. the strongest, so okay, I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's fair enough. Okay. It um, could be, though. Have you, uh, have you picked up... They do up, have insect. They do have insect. The famous insect. <laughs> Have you picked up any Korean while you've been here? I know you've been here for like two weeks uh, during boot camp and okay, so you come I, back. I know <laughs> Selling A. Uh huh. <laughs> I know Opa, Appa, Nuna, <laughs> Dong Seng, and Ang Yang Hasio. You're, you're a big family man, I see. Yeah, yeah. I see. Well, hopefully these phrases will get you far while you're exploring Seoul. And thank you so much for this interview. Again, um, you guys played phenomenally. You really, really yeah, I'm, did. I'm happy with how well we did, but it's uh, still sad that we didn't actually make it all the way. Yeah. But you got to lose somewhere. And we will see you next year. We'll definitely see you guys next year. And that will be it. Thank you very much. This is the end of day two, everyone. And we will see you again. Bye. You're not going to say bye. 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 <laughs>